hello guys you welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make meat pie meat pie is a snack that can be eaten anytime children love it so much including adults please if you want to know how i make this meat pie continue watching this video to the end as i'm going to show you all the necessary ingredients that you need these are the ingredients that you need to prepare meat pie these are the ones for the dough here i have six cups of all-purpose flour you equally need evaporated milk and so i have one cup here you also need butter this is 200 grams of margarine you also need baking powder you equally need five eggs i'm going to use four eggs for the dough while one egg goes for the glazing you also need sugar and this is salt to neutralize the sugar the next thing you need to do is to sieve your flour and so i'm going to start by sieving the flour before you knead your dough you make sure you sieve your flour properly in case there is any dirt in it You can see the little dirt there, and so I have to throw this away. After saving your floor, you need to divide a little portion out of it so that that could be used for, you know, sprinkling on the table. You have to add your baking powder, just one tablespoon to your all-purpose floor. You also need to add your four spoons of sugar. And so I'm adding four tablespoons of sugar here, half tablespoon of salt, and then you have to make a well in between the floor, and also add your margarine. After adding your margarine, you need to stay it. You have to cover it with the floor, then you have to stay it properly using your two hands. You have to mix your floor very well and also make a well and then add your four eggs after that you need to cover up the eggs with your flour and also mix it properly so that it can mix well you have to add your evaporated milk this evaporated milk i have added a little water to it here comes my dough after that you need to add a drop of vegetable oil to your palm and also knead your dough very well and this will make your flour not to stick to the bowl including your hand after that you need to cover it and set it aside and then go on to preparing your other ingredients these are other ingredients for the filling here i have 500 grams of beef this beef i have blended it properly you also need chopped carrots this is chopped irish potatoes you equally need chopped onions and this is fresh pepper i have two seasoning cubes you also need some vegetable oil and this is salt to taste with your pot on the fire you need to add your vegetable oil and also add your chopped onions and then give it a good stay you have to add your pepper and then stay it it's time to add your minced meat or your blended meat or grounded rather and then you have to give it a good stay remember you have to season your meat i'm adding two seasoning cubes and also salt to taste and then stay it up you have to allow it to steam properly and then taste for salt after that you need to add your chopped carrots and then give it a good stay you also need to add your chopped Irish potatoes. Remember, these Irish potatoes have been parboiled. And so it is a bit soft. That is why I added it last. 
you can see that there is a little water in it and that is the water that we don't need so we are going to add just a tablespoon of all-purpose flour just to thicken it your filling must be a bit thicker that is you don't need water in it yeah back to the table here is our dough you need to grease your pan this is my oven pan and then you have to sprinkle some all-purpose flour on your kneading board with your rolling stick then you need to do justice to your dough you can as well make use of a saucepan if you don't have the meat pie cutter here i'm making use of my saucepan which is going to still give me the desired shape that i want you can see the rolling very neat then you need to add your filling to your meat pie depending on the size you want that determines the size of the dough that you will make and then you must add your filling accordingly and then wrap it gently you must close the edges properly and then make use of your fork and seal the edges properly so that it will bring out a good shape you can see that the meat pie shape is coming out already very neat oh my god look at my meat pie mm, this meat pie is going to be very delicious look at the filling you can see that there is no water in it you need to add another filling to your meat pie or to your dough rather and then wrap it accordingly you must always use flour to touch your hand so that it will not stick to your hand here comes my meat pie very neat and clean this is how you're going to do until you finish a whole lot of the dough that you did meat pie is a very simple snack that you can prepare at home for your family you can see the shape of the meat pie it's very easy please don't fail to try this at home for your family you can see the meat pie coming out man this is lovely i'm sure you've seen how i'm preparing this meat pie please don't fail to prepare it at home for your family after that you need to glaze your meat pie with the remaining one egg and so that is what i have done and then transfer it into your oven wow the meat pie is getting set you need to put it right into your oven and then cover it up and allow it to cook for one hour remember to put it to a medium heat so that your meat pie will not get burnt my meat pie is ready let's go to the table you can see the meat pie very fresh oh my god look at the inside mm. man you need to enjoy this meat pie with a chilled drink or water this is lovely i'm sure you love this video if you did love this video please thumbs up share and also subscribe thanks for watching thank you for subscribing see you in my next video